Hi, I'm going to be explaining how to do statistical process control chart. Um, this is an example that I took in class 2, and I hope um, you can understand it better, because, you know, uh, if you're not able to catch up with uh, what I did in class, this might be a good review. To the statistical process control chart, uh, we have these examples. Um, you know, uh, the background of this example is that let's assume that there are three lines uh, that are producing Chevy faults every day. And say it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning and then it ends at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then, you know, every hour they are, say, manufacturing 10 Chevy volts and, um, you know, you want to do the, st the test and found that uh, 200 miles per gallon efficiency was produced on average. And then line 2, 210 miles per gallon. And line 3, 185 miles per gallon. And then, you know, uh, you did the same thing for all the lines. And you have the result right here. And we want to visualize this process and check if they are in control and doing the job right. Uh, you want to test it. So to do so, you want to you, you want to use a statistical process control chart, and we are going to uh, construct it together. The first thing that you want to do is you want to um, find the mean of of three lines between nine and ten o'clock. <clears throat> so it's going to be average function of these lines, these three lines. So C four to E four. It's your average, and these are means. And then you are going to do the same thing for the other hours. And you're just dragging, down, dragging them down like this, and then you have the result. And then um, another thing that you want to do is you want to also look at range. And range is defined as maximum, maximum minus minimum of the range. Then you can find the uh, range automatically. So in this case, the range is um, 210 minus 185, which is 25. And the same formula are applied throughout the uh, uh, time periods. So you have this range. And then the next thing that you want to do is to find the x double bar. Next double bar is average of these averages. So x double bar means um, mean of sample means. Therefore, you are going to calculate the average of averages. So that's what we did here. So average of these averages is double bar. And then you want to find the average for range too. So here is the range. And that's called R bar. Right. If you have done that, then now um, what you can do is you can calculate X double bar control chart. And we need X double bar value here. And then we need upper control limit of X double bar chart and then um, lower control limit. Next double bar is simply the mean of means right here. So you can just click on that. Upper control limit is, uh, the formula is um, x double bar plus a2, a2 times r bar. Um, that's the formula. So. And then the lower control limit is x double bar minus a2 times r bar. That's another uh, formula for lower control limit. And in the same way, we have to work on our r chart too. And we have r bar and upper control limit and lower control limit. And R bar is simply from here, R bar. And upper control limit is D4 
times r bar and d3 times r bar. So now what you can do is try to find this a2 value, a d4 value, and d3 value. So therefore, we can uh, try to locate a2 value and d4 value and then d3 value. And this is, um, these are values that you can find from table S6.1. And it's also provided in my, um, in my slide. So I'm going to look at it with you together. So now you want to find A2 value, D4 value, and D3 value. And if you go back to my slide here uh, under lecture 5, I gave this slide, which is uh, on slide 21 and table S6.1. Um, this slide shows what the sample size is. Depending on the sample size, you have different uh, factors for mean and upper range and low range. And uh, uh, here, remember that we have three lines. So either different sizes, size or different equipment or different processes. Um, you want to count the number of processes or lines, then it's, it's going to become your sample size. And we have one, two, three, line one and two, three. So three are lines, therefore our sample size is three. So A2 value that corresponds to sample size 3 is 1.023. So you can type here 1.023. And then in the same way, if you look at uh, D4 value, 2.574. 2.574. And D3 was 0. So you now found all the values for A2, D4, and D3. And... Uh, now you are going to use uh, this one to calculate uh, upper control limit and lower control limit and x double bar values. So now we see, we see here, x, your upper control limit for x double bar is x double bar, which is right here, plus a2 times r bar. And R bar is right here. So that's going to be your upper control limit. Lower control limit is X double bar minus A2 times R bar. Okay. So you have 227.64 as upper control limit and 177.47 as lower control limit. And then you have here, um, R bar times D4 as upper control limit. So D4 times R bar is your R chart upper control limit. And the same way, D3 times R bar is your lower control limit. Then, now you have all these uh, values for uh, upper control limit and lower control limit for each of X, chart, X bar chart and R chart. So now uh, the, this is a time to draw um, the graph. So first of all, mean chart. So just select mean column, uh, which is F3 to F11, and go to insert, and then chart. You have chart here, and among them choose line chart, and uh, this graph is the one that we are looking for. So we have mean chart right here. And we need to specify the upper control limit 227 and uh, lower control limit 177. So uh, click on the uh, Y axis and right click and format axis and minimum value is 177 and maximum value is 227 right and then hit enter then as you can see it has now changed 107 to 227 and then we also um, want to 
change the x axis right here it's not 127 so we need to change that to um, 9 to 10 o'clock and 10 to 11 and so forth so right click format uh, axis I'm going to try to find format axis so okay. click on the axis first and then format axis then you go to uh, oh it seems like I, I made a mistake it's not the place so you right click and go to select data select data and then a horizontal category axis labels here so click on this icon and then start time 9 to 16 hit enter then then now you know the axis changed from 9 uh, 1 to something and then now 9 to 16 and uh, if you would like to change it to time so 9 o'clock 9 a.m. and then 12 p.m. in this way you know uh, you understand that uh, this is time and then um, you want to also draw um, the control limits and center line so let's do that go over here and go to insert and then format Here, insert the shape and choose this line in 227 as you are. Then you can change the color to say red, right? and then copy it, paste it in 177. The center line is. 202.70 so 202.70 about here and then you can also um, go to insert and then again okay, click on the chart first and then go to insert and shapes and choose this box and you can right here like that and right click edit text UCL upper control limit size too big so you can make it smaller right now arrange the okay. and then copy paste paste center line and then lower control limit so lower control limit Edit text. Yes. Uh oh. Edit text and center line. Then you have mean chart. And remember, um, as you can see, you have to interpret it. And um, it's uh, between lower control limit and upper control limit. So I deleted the center line, 22 point something. This is the center line. So um, this mean chart looks very good. And next we is range chart. Let us select a column first and then go to insert and chart. Among the chart, you want to choose this line graph. And you have this mean chart right here. And again, Take a look at this upper control, 62.74, lower control limit is 0. So let's draw it. Um, I'm going to just copy this line and paste. I, I think you have to draw, draw it again, so click on this chart, insert, and shape, and align like that, and then 
seven four. So around here, that's your upper control limit, and you can change the color again, like that, and then maybe you can copy and paste. Then you have lower control limit, which is zero, and then you have center line, which is X bar. X bar is 24.375, so probably about here. And then you insert um, text, text box here. So here's text box. And then right click, edit text, UCL. Copy and paste. Uh -oh. Center line and lower control limit. Now you have range chart, right? So when you are judging this process, you have to look at both the mean chart. And range chart. As you can see, mean chart is oscillating around the center line, and no point is going beyond this uh, uh, upper control limit or lower control limit, which is good sign. However, range chart shows that, you know, at three. Oh, I need to change this. So let's uh, see. I have to select data and uh, horizontal line. And choose start time then you have the time here so at around 11 o'clock we see that something happened and it's not stable um, so the conclusion that you can make is as a manager you see that there's some problem at 11 o'clock and this whole process is not stable and you want to investigate what happened at 11 o'clock so let's go to 11 here 11, 12, now between this time, line 1, 180 miles per gallon, line 2, 170 miles per gallon, line 3, 240 miles per gallon. So line, and, line 1 and line 2 underperformed severely uh, because the average 202 and their performance is very low, 180 and 170. Uh, however, line 3 somehow did a great job, uh, achieved 240 miles per gallon, so uh, there is a very good thing to see. So we see that line in 1 and line 2 somehow did not perform very well. And you, and you have to understand or ask the production manager or uh, production people there what happened at 11 o'clock. While uh, in line 3, 240 miles per gallon was achieved. So you want to understand that too. If possible, you want to replicate line 3. You know, uh, among all these um, uh, you know, performance, 240 was the highest, and how come, you know, 11 and 12, between 11 and 12, this much performance was uh, achieved, you want to understand that, and if possible, you want to replicate that, make it a benchmark, and then uh, do your best um, to repeat uh, this achievement. And another question that I might be asking if I was a production manager is that, Am I satisfied? Am I satisfied with this process? Although the mean and range is pretty stable, except for this 11 o'clock, um, you know, uh, we need to see that uh, it is quite stable uh, uh, process. So I would be happy with that. However, um, I w we're considering that uh, Chevy Volt was promising that it's going to achieve 230 miles per gallon according to the marketing campaign. The uh, center line is only uh, 202, so it, this one has to go at least 30 miles above uh, so that uh, they can deliver uh, the marketing promise that has to be done. Okay, so this is a statistical process control chart and how to interpret it. I hope this was helpful for your understanding and uh, doing your homework. Okay, thank you.